I was able to invest that time because the thing is, I could throw it away and throw it in the trash and go do something else with it. But now, years down the line, that may have actually been something that turned out to change my life. And what you are putting in is what you're going to get out no matter what. And you can't cheat life nor the time that you're spending doing what you're doing. And with that, I'm going to give you an opportunity here to um, talk about the Amazon store because we've had that requested quite a few times now. Yeah, actually, that's my bad. I didn't even I didn't even see that going on. Um, but Amazon, Amazon, the Amazon store business model was really just retail arbitrage where you buy something from uh, one marketplace and you sell it on another. So, for example, right now I, I buy a lot of pools. Right. We may not realize it here because the weather's kind of up and down. And even in Texas, we sell, I sell a lot of pools. But right now I buy a lot of pools. I can literally just go to Walmart right now and buy a pool or a pool related accessory, like a pool cleaner, pool filter, um, sidebar. There's actually a chlorine shortage in America right now, right? Like there's a there's a chlorine shortage for cleaning pools and making sure they stay clean so you can actually utilize it. There's a shortage right now. So you can buy like one tub for let's just say $26 plus tax and you can sell it on Amazon for $121. Like these are real numbers, like right now these are real numbers. So there you go. So like that's that's like one little gem right there, right? There's also pool filter kits. Like I buy those for like twenty six dollars, and I sell them for sixty seven, seventy sometimes, just depending on where other people are pricing them at. And so really, anything related to retail arbitrage is what I do on Amazon. Uh, and it's really really simple, right? You, you create an Amazon account. Um, you can even use your current Amazon account. And then just go to Amazon seller and then you log in. It's $39 a month, right? If you're an active seller and you have an account that's making money, right? Or you can just get a basic account and it's completely free. You can put your products on there and you can log in and go to the store, scan the barcode, and it will tell you with the Amazon seller app, you scan a barcode, it'll tell you this is how much it's going for on Amazon. Then you can also input your price that you bought it for. And it will tell you what the Amazon fee is, and it will tell you what your profit is. Real simple. So step one, log, download Amazon Seller, log in. That's step two. Step three, go to a store, go online, go anywhere, find a product, scan a barcode, and see how much it's going for in Amazon. You will be absolutely amazed the random stuff that's flipping on Amazon. Right? Here, here's another one. Sports cars. Real, real quick, before before you, you keep going, I know that this is a question that has come up a, a few times. How did you choose? Oh, you didn't actually choose. You actually went to the store and just kind of proactively researched by just scanning the codes, right? That's, or did you think about it? A, a you know how smart that is from Amazon's pers per perspective? Like, for <laughs> them, you're doing the, the work that they don't have to pay. Like, you... You can make money off their site, but they're basically getting like free information from you. Like you know, they say if, if you don't pay for something, plus you are the product. Income. Exactly. Because they're um, for them, they're gonna see like what are these hot items that are selling. Like what's across all of my vendors, what barcodes are selling the most, right? So it might be this pool filter kit across all these different accounts. It's been hot, and they've been selling it at this much, and then this is what they're buying it for. So when I go figure out who the supplier is. I can go negotiate like, hey, I need this price because I already know you got this at Walmart. Like, you're not gonna, uh, you're not gonna disrespect us on this price. Boom! Yeah. Now I can sell it, and then they can control the market in terms of like, where should this be priced? They could raise it, they could lower it a little bit to take out all the sellers. So, you know, from your perspective, you got to kind of keep going, like finding these items, digging them up, digging them up. Um, but they are actually like reaping a lot of benefit from that too. I just yeah. realized that now. They are. So it's like an interesting money is doing a lot. Like Amazon's got the game on lock, right? So certain things, like um, for for a while we were getting these things called uh, Apex Nessie plushes, right? It's a it's a toy, it's a plush, like a stuffed animal figure that has a game code inside of it. So it has a zip on the back. You 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 buy the game, you play the game, of course, right? But you buy this plush for you know I buy it for like nine ninety nine, and we sell it for thirty nine ninety nine. Right. So you buy this plush and then you plug in the code into the game and then you got some sort of unlockable character or you got extra armor, stuff like that. 
right? You unlock unlock um, in-game perks, right? So before it started selling on Amazon, you could find it in stores, right? To your point, you could find it in stores. And then when it caught on, like this is really flipping hard, Amazon went directly to the manufacturer and then they stocked up on several hundred of them. So what we started doing then was that we just bought it directly from Amazon and then flipped it back on Amazon. Right. So what I have is I have a I have a bot. It's a that's that's a bit more advanced, but I'll talk about it briefly. I have a bot. So I I I have a bot that is a, a automated computer system. It's a it's a software, and I just tell it I want this barcode, and then it will search Amazon, Amazon, eBay. I mean Walmart, Amazon, eBay, uh, Best Buy, Academy, anywhere I wanted to search, and it will just buy it for me automatically. I just put my credit card in, and it's automatically scanning the web, scanning the web. As soon as it hits, is oh I, okay, I caught fifty from this website, twenty from this website, and ten from this website, and they just get shipped to my house. And then I just go on Amazon seller again, scan the barcode, say I got a hundred of these, and then just list it at the price I want, and then it sells. Right. So that's a little bit more advanced with the botting and everything like that. But just to get started, right? Just think about something that it's always sold out. Think about something that's in high demand, like Pokemon cards, right? Sports cards. Sports cards are are just going for insane prices right now, right? Like there is like this. Uh, I think it was a Mickey Mantle card. Two of them sold for something like over a million dollars. Two cards, two sports cards, right? And they sold for a million to over a million dollars. Like a Kobe card after he died, like sold for mm -hmm. ridiculous amounts of money. LeBron cards. I, you know, that was the number one search thing in the entire year right? over yeah. COVID, Kobe over Bryant. everything was Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant on Google was the number one searched. That's crazy. Anything. So to kind of just to kind of just like wrap this all up with the Amazon store, um, it's really, really simple. Right. If if you want to do it, you just it's you have everybody has an Amazon account. Like even if it's old, just download Amazon seller. When you go to the store, go grocery shopping, whatever. Just go by aisle, like this is just to get your feet wet. Scan it, see how much that product is going for at Amazon, and then calculate in your mind if this thing is ten dollars and I buy it right now for ten dollars plus tax is going to be let's just say eleven dollars ten eighty, right? Ten eighty eleven dollars, right? How much is it going for on Amazon? Is it going for twenty dollars? Is it going for seventeen dollars? Plug all those numbers in, right? And then it would sometimes you, it would even calculate for you how much it's going to cost to ship. When it comes to shipping, just think about a dollar per pound, right? A dollar per pound when it comes to shipping. So if the if the item is a stuffed animal and it weighs less than a pound, just imagine it's gonna cost you three to five dollars to ship it. Factor that in, right? And then like over time, you you will kind of start getting the comes accustomed to it, or you could just hit me up and I'll and I'll just give you the game. Like we'll talk about there, it. There you go, guys. You just hit uh, me up. Real, don't forget, please answer this question down below too, whenever you whenever you finish. And then I got one after that. So I would I would think that clothing stores would be good for someone to sell um, on the small on the small end. Stores such as Ross, Burlington, Walmart. Perfect. Ross. <laughs> Funny story. There's a product called XO Fico Boxers. XO Fico Boxers. You can go to Ross right now and buy them for thirteen dollars and sell them on Amazon. For about twenty nine dollars to thirty dollars, and people are buying them. They'll cost you about seven dollars to ship. Just do the math on that. Exo Fico boxers. If you just go to Ross, Ross has your own stickers, right? So don't use those. Use the one that actually comes on the clothes, or that the ones that actually come on the product itself. Scan that. See how much it's going for on Amazon. Sometimes you need to request approval to sell that brand. Just hit request approval. Most of the times with clothes, shoes, like things that are not heavily guarded, you can just sell them right away with without any sort of like invoice or without any sort of ungating. Free game. Sell them right, right away. But um, if you have any questions, just hit me up. Will Too Real, uh, Wilson or Pia Mensa on Facebook. Um, and I'll, I'll answer any other questions you have. And then we can build your program going from there. Um, but this is just for the people listening to this, though. Because I, I do work on a few things. Yeah. Like once I get it really scaled up, 
I'll, I'll put it out to everybody. But just to kind of get in early, you can just just hit me up. As answer soon your as you said that, the viewers started going up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So, so with that, I'm going a, I'm to a jump into the affiliate marketing aspect. And then, Mike, we were going to let you introduce the um, the podcast. 